Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three in the UK. And this is one of my children. This is my eldest son, Charles, who's eight years old and has never, ever been to school. Hi. Charles did attend preschool for a few years before he was of school age and before moving to a forest school one day a week. But that is pretty much just playing in the woods and learning about nature. The rest of the time he is at home with me and as we talked about before we do follow some curriculum um, but the rest of the time he's essentially unschooled so English and maths and science he kind of has to do what I tell him to. Don't you buddy? Pretty much. Pretty much. But the rest of the time he's free to follow his own interests if he wants to. So we're going to ask him some generic questions about being an eight-year-old and then we're going to go and talk a little bit more about home education. I just wanted you guys to see home educating, vo home educating from the home educator's point of view in all big issues when it comes to parenting and children. It's really important to hear the voice of the person who is most involved. And obviously you hear my perspective all the time, but this is a chance to hear Charles's perspective, especially if you're on the fence about home educating and you're worried about certain issues. Um, that kind of are more from the child's point of view, then this is a chance for you to hear them from the horse's mouth, as they say, or from Charles's mouth, really. He's not yeah. a horse. Yeah, I'm not a horse. So. If I could be an animal, I'd probably be a cat. Probably be a cat. You, you, you like to pretend to be a cat a lot at the moment, don't you? So, Charles, what's your favourite thing about being eight? Is there anything really cool about being eight? Um. I'm. I get to be a big brother. You get to be a big brother. And you, do you, is, we like, we ask you to do lots of grown up things now. Like, make me tea. Well, whenever I get myself some hot squash, I'm like, do you want your tea? <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what do you think is the best thing about being home educated? Um, sometimes I can have breaks, but if I was in school, I would just have to do it. Yeah, so you're saying that when you're doing like your English or your maths, you get, if, if you want to have a break halfway through, you can just do that and you can go and play with some toys or read a book or watch some TV or something Jump like that. Jump on the trampoline. Jump on the trampoline. But if you were in school, you'd have to just keep doing your work. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think would be something good about going to school from what you've seen on TV and heard from like your cousins and stuff? I mean, I've heard some schools have libraries. Heard some schools have libraries. Well, we have a library in our town, don't we? Mm, yeah. We could just go there. Yeah, but yeah. other than that, I mean, there's nothing that, we, that I really like about a school. Okay. So... What's some of the things that you get to do as a home educated child? Uh, like this morning you printed me off colour by numbers and so I did my English, I got to do one and oh, I was going to do one but then my classroom is it's a T-Rex but it, Jazzy, our cat Jazzy walked on it so it's a bit crumpled. <laughs> so when I finish, so I'm going to do this afterwards. So you, when you get when you do your work, you get to do something really nice that you like yeah. to do. Do you think that when you're older, you might like to go to school? Um, the only really school I'm gonna probably go to is is university. You're gonna go to university. Do you think you might go to college before you go to university? I thought they were the same thing. No, college is. When you go and when you're like 16 to 18 years old, you can go to college. And then when you're 18 and older, you go to university. So most universities want you to have gone to college first and done specific exams called A-levels. Well, if they want me to, then sure. Yeah. So do you remember that I said to you that when you are a teenager, that you will sit something called GCSEs? No. No. Okay. So do you remember I said to you that I need you, I wanted you to do maths and English and they were like tests. Yeah. 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 So once you've done your GCSEs, you can then go on to college and do 
and study things more importantly. And you said you want to be a paleontologist, so then you would need to do two sciences and then something like history. Although I really like finding, I really like dinosaurs, so I would love to dig up dino bones, but then I would love to study the seas. Oh, so you'd like to do marine biology? And find deep dark creatures that no one knows about. So marine biology. You get to name a fish. You'd probably need something like, you'd definitely need biology and you'd probably need chemistry and you might need something else as well. I might need fish, fishery. <laughs> so you need to do sciences. So do you think that you'll go to college and take A-levels? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Do you think you would want to do that at home or do you think you would want to go to a college? Because you'll be a lot older then. You'll be um, almost a grown up. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know you could do stuff from home. Mm, you can do stuff from home. But if you go to college, you can... You're kind of, you get to be a bit more grown up. You get to travel there by yourself if you want to. And then you can like hang out at your lunch break. Right. You, can, you can hang out on your lunch break with your friends that you've made there. But also you would just, ha you wouldn't be able to take breaks in the middle of lessons because it's still like school. Yeah. Maybe you will decide what you want to do near the time because you're only eight now. I know. So one question that lots of people ask Charles is, how will my home educated child socialise? How will they make friends? So, I want to ask you, Charles, do you have friends? A lot. A lot. Now, Charles is also autistic, so s lots of people seem to think that being autistic means that you can struggle to make friends, or that you do struggle to make friends, and I think for some people that is, um, that's certainly true, and for some children that's certainly true, but I keep, I always keep in my heart that they just haven't made the right friends. They haven't met the right people. And when autistic people do meet the right people, then it's really easy for them to make friends because autistic people are awesome. And you say you have lots of friends? Mm, but so, when I met all my friends for the first time, like I always am when I meet a new person, I'm like trying to hide like, only like peeking at them. But like Miles, I probably, I don't remember when I made friends with him. You've been friends since Miles was two and you were about a year and a half. I mean, I probably did the same, but now we're best buds. You just have to get to know them. Do you think it takes you longer to get to know someone well because you're autistic? Um, not really. Yeah. But really, you just have to have the courage to come out from the shadows very wise do you what's your favorite thing to learn about what's your favorite thing to learn about what do you think it is? my favorite thing to learn about um is probably i like doing science experiments or probably science science <laughs> What, if you could learn about anything right now, if we could do a project right now, what would you choose to be on? Uh, let's see. Um, from a TV show I've watched, they got one of those, um, what do they like you squeeze it and water goes up? A pipette. A pipette. You cut the rounding bit off of that, you dip it in some soapy water, mm -hmm. then you blow a bubble on a table that's covered in that same soapy water and then you can dip that bit then put it in again then put it inside the bubble and it didn't pop and then they blew a bubble inside of the bubble that sounds really cool that sounds like a really cool experiment we'll have to try and find that video and to practice try it ourselves actually it's a tv show a tv show yeah okay what tv show is it it's ryan's mystery playdate his oh. playdate was a scientist that's very cool I think um, Ryan's mum was a scientist too. She yeah, was a science teacher. Because she said only scientists know the science is handshake, but she knew the science is handshake, so she has to end up be it. Well, there you go then. Um, another science project that I really want to do is that of like volcano, and you put some kind of mixture inside, and then if you put one more bit in, it goes. <laughs> like you could. You could put Coca-Cola in and then put Mentos in. You could. I mean, if you put too many Mentos in, it'll just go... But if you put enough in, it'll just go up and then dribble down. That's really cool. So, 
what would you say to anyone who is what would you say to anyone who's watching who's thinking about taking their child out of school deregistering their child and home educating what would you say to them well um it's just me the person who doesn't like i don't like i don't personally like school but you don't like the idea of school but yeah but if you're I mean, not I'm not a parent, but if your kid likes school, like if I if I was an adult and my kid liked school, like the sound of it, I would put him in. Okay. If he but what? To. But if if someone's thinking about home edu home educating their child, their child probably doesn't like school. So what would you say mm. to them? Um. Uh. I would say. Um. They were feeling worried about it. If they were feeling worried about it, um, well, it's fine. It's not. It's. Uh, you could kind of imagine it as you're the school teacher, because yeah. you are pretty much. You are their teacher. So, what if they're worried that they won't be a good teacher? Um, what would you say to make them feel better? Well, no matter what, how you teach, I'm sure you will at least learn how to be a very good one. There you go. So if you feel like you won't be a very good teacher, Charles says, you can learn to be a good teacher. And also, I know you already um, know about Twinkle, because she said it on her YouTube before, but there were really cool activities that I love. So there we go. And Twinkle can help. Um, if you are struggling and you're feeling worried, then head over to Twinkle and they have loads of stuff on there that is really, really fun as well as being really, really educational. And some of it is both and it doesn't even feel like you're learning, does it? I know. There we go. So thank you for joining us with our home education interview with eight-year-old Charles. Um, I hope that this has put some of your minds at ease about your children and their home ed experiences and their future home ed experiences, but here he is eight years old and he is doing really really well and he says he has lots of friends and he's our dog <laughs> because he says lots of friends and he really really enjoys being home educated and he doesn't feel like he's missing out do you because you don't go no. to school there you go hello hello so thank you very much for joining us and we will see you again on monday 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 although i won't be here because i'll you'll be at forest school no. yeah he won't be here although so I i'll see, see you on monday I home group See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Seriously. Bye. Bye.